In the last video, we explored using Flux Dev Schnell and the GGUF model. This will be a quick video on using LoRa with Flux models. The Q3 model, even without any prompt, still produces an amazingly detailed image. Was there any prompt used? Or did you perhaps miss it? Let's find out in the video. I searched for a game character online and found this one. Now, let me ask the AI to generate this character. In the style presets, I have three presets using Flux dev models, while the second and third utilize the dev GGUF models. Below are the Schnell model and the GGUF version of the Schnell model. I will search for the Laura of the game character on Civit AI. Being a famous character, I was able to find Laura easily. It's a Flux 1 Dev Laura, which will work with dev models, including the GGUF dev model. I will save it on the server, then navigate to Comfy UI models, and finally to the Laura folder. Now, let's say I want an image similar to this. The character's name is Siri, which is also the trigger word when using the Laura. I will copy the prompt, paste it, and then click Generate. I have not used the Laura yet, and this is what I get. The prompt describes Siri standing and holding a sword in a snowy training field. The image generated by the Flux model features a cute looking girl with the elements mentioned in the prompt. While the girl looks good, she is nowhere near the deadly appearance of the game character Siri. This is because the Flux models do not have knowledge of this specific character. However, the internet has information if I search for it. No matter how many times I generate an image, the likeness of the actual character will not be produced unless something guides the image generation process toward that character's face. If I try an older SDXL model, specifically the cinematic photo model, and click generate using the same prompt, I receive an image that resembles the game character, complete with a sword in her hand. The sword may not be perfect, but it can be adjusted. The key point here is that Stable Diffusion 1.5 and the XL model are trained on images with captions that include detailed information about the type of character. In contrast, when I use the larger 17 GB FP8 model, I get an innocent looking character. A few months ago, I made a video explaining how to generate images of paintings by famous artists. The SDXL model contains information and generates art, if specified by name of the artist in the prompt. However, Flux models do not have this capability. Unless you use a LoRa, the images generated by Flux will be general and somewhat common. I will go to Configure. This Flux built-in preset cannot be changed. I will make a copy of it and name it FP8. Then I will click the add button to include a LoRa. If the LoRa is not visible, I will refresh, and there it is, Siri underscore 3000. The recommended weight can be found on Civit AI. Below, you can see the style prompt. The prompt you type is interpolated here. Let me select this and show you what I mean. In case you do not type a prompt, this is what goes for image generation. What I mean is that if I use this Flux FP8 preset and the same prompt, the prompt will actually appear here like this. This is what is used in the image generation process. I will remove this and leave it empty. The recommended weight for the LoRa is between 80 and 90%. I will set the weight accordingly and generate the image. The LoRa had its effect. The image is what I asked in the prompt, but it needs a lot of improvement. Now I can either modify the prompt with keywords like natural and bright skin, or use one more LoRa on top of it. On Civit AI, this LoRa has a good rating. It is not intended for realistic characters, but for fantasy characters. Instead of spending time finding the perfect prompt for the best result, I decided to get a LoRa. The trigger word is used at the beginning of the prompt. I will refresh and add the second LoRa. 
keeping it around 60%. I can add the trigger word here, and it will be used in all the prompts. I will press generate, and it will take more than a minute now. Using two LORAS will increase the image generation time, so I am fast forwarding the video to keep it short. The image looks fine, but I think I should change the canvas size. The image size does affect the quality of the character generated. At the top, click on image, then select resize canvas size. You can obtain the size and other details from Civit AI's image. This option allows you to copy the prompt, and at the bottom, this includes all the available details. Open a notepad, paste it, and you will be able to retrieve what you need. This is the size of the image. I also tried changing the prompt using both the LoRa and keywords like forest, sunlight, and shine. This is what I got. It looks good to me. What do you think? Adding more details to the prompt when using the Flux model should work. All you need to do is gather keywords from the prompts on Civit AI, or you can use applications like GPT. I attempted to generate an image of Thanos, but the Flux model does not have a clear understanding of the character, so I used the Thanos Laura. I was trying to get an image of him with guns. Then, I used a second Laura named Mini Gun. You can specify your character holding an object, and for the best results, you should have the Laura for that object. If you cannot find the Laura for the object you are looking for, you can create one using online services or on your computer if the graphic card has around 8GB of memory.